Thank you. Good morning. Um, I will present you in about five minutes. Next five minutes about Open Transport Net and MAP. Um, Open Transport Net is a European funded research project um, that I am uh, leading now for more than two years. And we are uh, using in this project, of course, OpenStreetMap as the main, um, main map for all uh, links with open data we, we have in our project. So the project itself uh, tried to combine open data uh, in the transport and mobility world, make it accessible for, uh, for people, for developers. Um, we are involved to make this uh, data findable, searchable on the web as well. We're trying to combine there also metadata systems from the geo world and the uh, open data world. So we are trying there to combine them. We're working there uh, very close together with uh, the Open Geospatial Consortium and the World Wide Web Consortium as well. Our consortium uh, itself exists from out of 15 partners um, all around Europe. And uh, we have four pilot cities we are especially working with, uh, City of Antwerp here in, in Belgium, Birmingham, um, uh, Liberate region and Czech Republic and the Paris region as well. So uh, what we're trying to do is to combine all this information, make it available and so on. But one of the projects uh, we, have, we are particularly presenting here is the open transport map, uh, which is of course based on open uh, op on OSM. And what we're, what we're trying to do is uh, to translated to the INSPIRE regulation uh, in Europe. So INSPIRE is a big regulatory framework in Europe um, where we try to combine for several data sets, more than 40 data sets, uh, to integrate it to have one data model um, which uh, is ob obliged by the European Commission. So we translated there OpenStreetMap and we are uh, also done some work to do some road segmentation as well so that it's uh, also able to um, to work together with for traffic modeling. So what we're basically doing here is building a kind of traffic model uh, and display this uh, on uh, an open street map based uh, map. Um, I will all, um, let's say to all of you, come to our booth downstairs. We can show you more about how it uh, really works. And the one example I will show here in just one minute is what we have done now uh, from the city of Pilsen in Czech Republic. So we've made here uh, different uh, traffic predictions. Uh, the one of them below is uh, the normal situation you have uh, with normal traffic flow. And um, the one in the left, left uh, upper corner, so what you see there uh, on the, um, in the right line there you, you have, is the situation when one bridge is closed. Um, so they will close a bridge in the center and there you will see immediately how the traffic, how it's expected that the traffic will flow through the uh, city of, uh, of Pilsen. So it's maybe a bit, uh, another, a bit another approach of using uh, OpenStreetMap and, uh, and open data uh, to find out and to give people uh, an idea on how traffic will flow, what will uh, the consequences uh, if some public uh, roadworks are taking place. So um, I invite you all to our booth. My name is Lieve Raas and I'm uh, yeah, responsible for this uh, European project. But I can, of course, explain uh, much more about it um, at our stand. I thank you. Oh, yeah. So, so where does all the information come that feeds on the traffic patterns? Do you have sensor devices, or, or where do you get the information of yeah. traffic flows? Well, the the data we typically use for traffic modeling is is in, in fact it's a lot of sources. We have uh, counters on the routes. Uh, we have also demographic uh, information. Uh, we have origin destination metrics. Is where people live, where they're going for work for. Uh, and so on. So we are not using in this kind of models uh, live data, but um, we're using in reality a lot of statistical data and, to um, to and find out the um, origin destination matrices of people during week, during weekend, and, and, and so on. And what you produce is open data that other people can use to create their own own sort of things. 
Well, um, this kind of data, it depends. So some of them are statistical data and are open. Uh, some of them are uh, mom on this moment not. So you have there a mix of, of a lot of sources of information. So I can't say that they're all open now. Um, on the other hand, uh, what you also see with, with this kind of information is that it is also very technical to build up this kind of models. So all the uh, work we've done on, uh, on making uh, the traffic flow system, uh, there, of course, we're using specific software uh, that is not available for in, in an open source world till now, I, I think, I believe. So what we are actually doing is displaying the results. Uh, so uh, there is not that much uh, demand on this moment for the, the raw data, uh, let's say, uh, like it is in other, for other data sets. We have more demand for, uh, for, uh, for the source data. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? Okay, let's thank our speaker again. Thank you.